Even on the people who fail the KYC, that is still work done and still worth you know compensating. So in that case, that that's why where the pool will be contributed by anyone who successfully passed KYC, being able to have the pie they actually um, they have, uh, and then being able to pay for the service, and then this pool is distributing to work by all validators. Um, whether or not uh, the, 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 the KYC case goes through or not, because this work uh, is um, uh, the same. Whether the result, the result of uh, the specific pioneer's KYC shouldn't affect whether the validator's work should be compensated or not. So that's why this is the design of the pool, the fundamental reason. They, there is uh, some uh, uh, some people saying that there is some technical difficulty some some um, uh, some uh, countries or pioneers are having and so I'm just uh, sending a quick message to ask them uh, to organize it uh, in a uh, along with uh, the rest of the core team organize it in the, a good place so that we can improve any technical difficulties people are having and fix. Uh, what's when the next will question? the yeah. KYC validators be selected? Is there a date when this will start? What will the requirements for validators? How long will the training last? Who will be responsible for this? The KYC are built in an automatic evaluation and testing and training system for the crowd workers or validators. Uh, this is a typical crowd crowdsourcing, crowd working uh, application and design in computer science. Okay, it will first have a simple tutorial at the beginning and later uh, testing periods for uh, testing validations. All testing validations done by uh, not very you know valid not verified type of uh, validators will not be counted in the KYC results. Um, on the high on the high level, uh, their validation result will be cross-validated by all the other validators who have already earned the trustworthy status. Mods will be invited to be the validators first um, to seed the trustworthiness of uh, validators. Mega mods will be assigned to trustworthy status first. So, and then as mods validation results in the training period comes and matches mega mods results based on the algorithm, they will also earn the trustworthy validator status. Um, but we don't count the whatever uh, work result of the training period of uh, the validators. What is preventing the deployment of weekly pilot uh, tests? Um, so I don't even know what the w pilot tests mean. Uh, the 50 pioneers per country that we do sometimes, I think they're referring to. Is it referred to KYC? It didn't even say what pilot it uh, is. I th yeah, it's in the category of KYC over here. Uh, so it's okay. probably a follow-up question by someone. Yeah, the, I mean, of course, uh, the, the test or the batches will be even faster or more frequent and even larger as we, uh, more um, uh, as more iterations already occur. Yeah. Um, next one. Has it been announced to pioneers already whether the KYC human validator will be rewarded for their work? In other words, can we talk about it in the chats? Is it known how this will be done yet? Yes. Uh, I, yes. I basically we just explained. Yeah. Uh, yes, validators will be paid eventually, but uh, uh, and also the mechanism. It takes some time to understand how much each piece of uh, subset of the piece of the work is actually going to be rewarded and excluding also the contribution of a failed KYC uh, will be covered by the design of the pool. Will miners who do not meet the AIDS criteria will be able to KYC once they do? Uh, Once they do, means they reach the but, age. Yeah, when they are old oh, enough. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, if they are old enough, they already yeah. <laughs> qualify. Yeah, uh, but yeah. even for minors, as we communicated before, we um, once the, the master KYC is ongoing, we will uh, hope to design the the parent consent that is required for minor KYC. Okay. Yeah. So this way, they can uh, KYC along with their parents, and mm -hmm. the parents can uh, uh, consent for the kid to uh, mm -hmm. KYC. When 
when the node bonus calculation may be available to moderators for preview uh the node bonus uh, moderator calculator um it's a, so um as soon as possible it's kind of a concurrent process but uh, uh w w as you know our main focus now is to start moving people to mainnet so we will not be if if this is not uh, um out yet the then we will not uh, uh, hold moving people to mainnet just because this uh, aspect of the um, of the equation is not uh, there yet uh besides being not being there yet is uh, will it's affecting everyone uh, everyone equally at the moment and uh, so we can we can start transferring people and then uh, when this is done uh, well then it will come in uh, all all shortly we're working on on all of these things okay FFF is still planned for this year yay FFF yes triple F uh, first Friday of February moderator moderator appreciation day <laughs> FFF <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's also like chatter happening while this. We have only a few minutes left, so let's uh, oh, yeah. speed up the answering of the few que final questions. Uh, okay. When can we expect the first few barter shopping dApps to be live on Pi Network? Uh, during the enclosed period, we want to start migrating both people and Pi applications to mainnet. So yes, during this time, uh, it depends on how fast they will they will migrate. But uh, yes. Will there be a list of core team approved marketplaces for pioneers to reference? We will uh, we will support the high level ideas. They will support any marketplace that would prove that they are dedicated. They are actually working on it and actively, and they provide reliable, scalable service. So yes, uh, will there be a mechanism for pioneers to report marketplace scams? Okay, so there's two things here. Uh, Yes, there will be a mechanism for people to report applications that are scams. Like, for example, a marketplace pretends to be a marketplace, but it's running a scam behind it. So people will report it and then fake marketplaces mm -hmm. will be removed from the Pi browser. Mm -hmm. At least we can control the, that on the Pi browser. We can control what they do on the Internet. Uh, but uh, scams within a certain marketplace or any other app mm -hmm. uh, are supposed to be handled directly by that specific marketplace yeah, or app. Exactly. So, so, and now if you say that if a specific marketplace is consistently, constantly not doing a good job in detecting this or protecting pioneers, well, they may at least in the beginning get a warning from us and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and there may be other consequences too but our our goal is overall to work along with the developers to create the future not to uh, mm -hmm. penalizing them so and also for example you got uh, you know uh, like on eBay there are potentially some it's a typical classic uh, marketplace yeah. and then potentially people get scammed um, by um, by someone seller yeah seller the seller reputation yeah seller reputation is the thing mm -hmm. that uh, you know is uh, it's kind of for users to be wise and choose it's just like when you visit website the user needs to be you know put on your you know careful eyes to look at whether this is a scam you don't blame the browser of Chrome and you don't you don't go to Apple and tell Apple hey I got scammed because of uh, inside this eBay I got uh, this uh, uh, merchant scanned me yeah one uh, one uh, important improvement that uh, pi can mm -hmm. offer over um, ebay and other things and other mm -hmm. places is that uh, uh, people can potentially have a global reputation on pi exactly so what we can do is do designing the social and system system wise uh, ways to try to prevent it happening but it's still on the individual um, you know user uh, being able to decipher which one is more scam just like when people visiting um, visiting websites um, okay there is uh, some questions about nodes by anonymous it's uh, already 10 o'clock but okay uh, I'll go really 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 quickly uh, uh, maybe the, the high level idea for these questions is that the focus of this period is to get the nodes up to speed as well so that uh, all the nodes are ready to migrate to the mainnet now. So when open network starts the first day, these nodes will be able to uh, essentially 
take the blockchain and and participate in the in the network. So so you will see over during this period uh, of uh, enclosed main, mainnet a lot of improvements uh, in the node application.